I don't know if the camera's picking it up at all, but there's a lot of water dripping from the ceiling here. So I can hear the water drops falling down and hitting the rocks. See, in a, like a forest when it's raining, it's hitting something softer, like leaves or pine needles. So it's a softer noise. It's not as loud as hail, obviously. Hail's really loud. Yeah. Each drop is pretty loud. Snap, snap, snap. It's pretty cool. So here, look at this pretty rock. It's like that one part with all those voids in it. Notice how the outside is sort of a greenish and the inside is really dark gray. Interesting. And all these other rocks are different. It's like somehow each rock has its own signature, even though they all form together out of the same material. Oh, this is cool. I gotta show you this. Look at this. Notice the round curvature in that rock? That means while the rock was cooling, so it's sort of glassy, it was flowing from left to right and solidified, making sort of a fingerprint of how it flowed. It's common to see that on the floor of a cave. Well, now why that rock is up here like that, I don't know. Maybe it flowed down the side and then broke Remember, the floor of this cave here is covered with these breakdown rocks. I don't think I've seen any of the actual floor of this cave today. I wasn't really paying attention. But look at this, here's sort of a ledge here, up above the breakdown rocks. Notice the vertical lines, almost like they put in the concrete on purpose for when they want to have good traction. See the video's flickering a little bit because the light's not as young as it used to be. I'll go ahead and stick with this one flashlight until the camera battery dies. Notice I can go up here. There's a lot of loose rock. I think it'll be easier to go down here. Now I'm almost walking on a 